Amanda and today I wanted to talk about veganism even though that's something that I know you guys don't really like to hear about. Personally, I know that my uncles and aunts and even my mom, they just love their carne asada, their chorizo, all their, you know, meat. Today I wanted to tell you guys the difference between veganism and vegetarianism because a lot of people kind of think they're the same thing and they're really not. There's actually like a big gap between them. So I really wanted to give you guys some more information about that and some common mistakes that a lot of people make when they decide to go vegetarian or vegan. Mistakes that I've been guilty of myself. So let's begin. Start off by telling you guys what vegetarianism is, and that pretty much is a diet where you can eat anything that you pretty much eat normally. You just don't eat meat, so that means you can have cheese pizza, mac and cheese, ice cream. So pretty much all that kind of stuff. And then there's also veganism, and veganism is you don't eat anything or use anything from an animal. So that means you can't have meat, milk, cheese, honey, eggs. So pretty much all that stuff. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, why? Why are you putting yourself in so much sadness? <laughs> like why? Why so much stress? Why just why can't you just have tacos and be happy? The thing is, I am happy and it's a beautiful, beautiful lifestyle. So if you guys decided to go vegan, it's honestly not as hard as a lot of people think. Also, something I didn't mention about veganism is you also don't wear anything of an animal. So that means no leather belts, no leather boots, no fur. So you know, that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to mention some tips. You know when you guys go to the store and you see like lactose-free products? They don't have lactose, but at the same time, they actually do have milk. A lot of products do actually have milk when they say lactose-free. I had that problem with me today when I made pizza. I was like buying cheese at the supermarket and a lot of them said lactose free. I was like, oh, perfect. And then I look and grab them. When I turn them around, it says contains milk. What? And this moves on to my third point and it's to always look at the ingredients when you buy food. A lot of hidden non-vegan ingredients are in a lot of foods and this includes casein, whey, bee pollen, and just a lot of other things that you wouldn't normally think that they come from animals but they actually do. A majority of the things that we buy at the supermarkets actually have animal products. It's definitely important to check the ingredients even if you're not vegan or if you're not vegetarian. It's always important to look at the ingredients because fewer ingredients that something has, the healthier it is for you. Don't worry, there's actually a vegan alternative for anything out there that we want to eat, whether you guys want to eat tamales, chilequiles, burritos, <laughs> you can have anything that's a vegan version. Like right now, I made vegan pizza and it's thebomb.com. So those are the points I wanted to make. I don't know what this was. <laughs> it's me finishing. <laughs> finishing the video. We're done. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not too annoyed with me, my YouTube channel will be linked down below. But yeah, that was everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. If you guys check out my channel. <laughs> Bye guys.